I worked with spokesperson of uh, our team in Aptesh, uh, who joined uh, me on this um, on this presentation. So. Um, in 2000, 2007, the first smart shop opened doors in, in Portugal, in a small town, and store was particularly selling psychoactive plants and mushrooms. In 2009, uh, this smart shop started to pro 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 proliferate I around Portugal. And, uh, well, so they were selling plants, fertilizers, and incenses. Uh, Major, they were selling uh, canna synthetic cannabinoids with the clear indication for not not for hu human consumption. Uh, during this same year, uh, 2009, drug checking a, port, uh, a, a project promoted by Abdesh uh, detected for the first time methadone. Sorry. Uh, last year, the number of um, smart shops. Uh, started to grow up, and media campaign in Portugal uh, was uh, was like creating moral panic around this uh, some incidents that occurred in Portugal with the, cost, the use of new psychoactive substances. Um, some some news were saying that there were related deaths to the use of of these substances, although. This uh, these news weren't based in real uh, evidence, so there there wasn't really a link between the use of new psychoactive substances and uh, these deaths. So there there was the real investigation about this these issues. Um, this year, early in this year, our National Institute of Drugs and Drug Addiction, uh, named as CICAD, report. Um, launched a, a report and, uh, well, uh, the report says that 44% of the uh, illicit drug users use new psychoactive substance. Let me just say that this sample is from 500, 500 students, um, well, the sample approach was, was 500, and 52 of these uh, 500 said that they never used drugs. So from, from the other part of the sample, 44% also uses NPS, and 56% 50, doesn't use NPS. Uh, from the new psychoactive substance users, uh, uh, um, there were 145. 90% says that they also use an, another other illegal substance as uh, as cocaine, for example, and 60% doesn't use illegal substances. Uh, from the 6%, we can, the report says that only 1.8%, or almost 2% of the, this total sample, uses uh, only new psychoactive substances. So this is, this is from the sample of 500 students that use major on, uh, in settings, recreational settings. Uh, but if the sample we we uh, we are we are most certain that if the sample was was broader, this number will, would decrease, for sure. Uh, the most popular NPSs are uh, um, herbal incenses, so the uh, synthetic cannabinoids, uh, and also plant fertilizers, the catenones. Um, Eighteen. Uh, percent of this uh, uh, of the use of new psychoactive substances in the last 12 months, 18.6 uh, percent uh, were from various new psychoactive substances. Early in this year, uh, uh, two, mo two months ago, I think, uh, if my maths don't, don't fail, in 17th of April, uh, the government launched um, uh, a law banning any commercial activities of new psychoactive substances. This law created, like Peter said, a uh, schedule, temporary schedule of 160 new substances. Um, uh, and within this legal framework, uh, the 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 use the possession and the use uh, of uh, new psychoactive substance is subject to uh, a fine. It's, it's considered a mis misdemeanor. Uh, 
so the fines can go to uh, almost uh, 4,000 euros in case of, birth, of uh, individuals and 45,000 uh, euros in case of legal persons. Um, because our framework, framework is decriminalized, um, uh, well, the, uh, as other other psychoactive substances, uh, they o they the only the only thing that occurs is this mis misdemeanors. So, also the traffic is out uh, out of this law uh, is not contemplated. So the sellers can't go to prison because they are selling. Um, this uh, this new law has another uh, a particular characteristic because it's an administrative proceeding to put the new substances into this schedule. Uh, because if if it wasn't, if it was a criminal table, uh, what what uh, will will need to happen is that the parliament has to be consulted. The toxic toxicity of the substance had to be proven. So in advance, before putting the new psychoactive substance in the in the schedule, so this is a procedure that facilitates this uh, adding new substances to this table. Um, in our perspective, um, and uh, also Peter mentioned that uh, well, we have noticed the increase also of the uh, new psychoactive substance being sold in 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 online online sites. Um, well, it's it's m and this uh, creates much more difficult for professionals to work with uh, the users because to access the internet is m it's much more difficult and to to intervene through uh, online is much more difficult than uh, in other settings. So um, at the same time, this law appeared in Portugal and no measures were created to set up um, teams, specialized teams to work with these uh, uh, users. Um, so we, I, we have only one uh, drug checking, the drug testing uh, project in Portugal, it's from Abdesh. And we, uh, I think we have now uh, only only two teams that work in recreational yeah. settings, one, uh, one, uh, yeah. one in the south. So um, uh, what, what, what is happening is that the, um, uh, the pressure that this law creates in the, in the, the, the sellers of the, of the new psychoactive substance is uh, they, want, they need to circumvent the law so they uh, uh, the producer, the pro, the producer, uh, the producers of these substance might have to create, might create other more dangerous uh, drugs with more dangerous profile and characteristics than the the previous one, ones, just to avoid this law. In September 2012, Abdes approached the national parliament and with a set of recommendations. Um, uh, saying that, uh, in our opinion, we should regulate this market, um, uh, which would allow authorities, the health professionals, and the users to better understand the risks of these substances, at the same time re relieving this pressure from uh, the development of new psychoactive substances. Um, our opinion is that we uh, should train, uh, give training to the uh, to the owners of the smart shops to to create quality standards and label uh, the 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 substances uh, um, also to create uh, teams that can work with this uh, with users on on the on the field so um, we wrote this recommendation we approached the European Parliament um, although this uh, this law uh, is running since April, uh, but we have noticed also that some uh, uh, now some news and some uh, contrary perspectives are coming are coming also from decision some decision makers that are telling about this new law might might create some obstacles. So let's see if something happens. So thank you. <laughs>